I'm gonna go to the left a little bit and then I'm gonna stream to the right. There we go. I knew it was possible. What do you mean no bonus? There's so many items on the screen. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to get so mad now. <laughs> I shouldn't be. I think I think I'm going to have more than enough resources to do this. Just by just by having an understanding and also being able to use uh, Sakia's ability proper perfect Alright. Cheers, man. Good luck heading out. Alright. I'll see you next time, sec tech support. I almost called you sex support. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. You there. You're from the mansion on the bank of the lake. A half fish person? I had no idea there was any. Oh, we already read this. I don't, I don't need to read it again. Dude, I should also mention, I haven't said this before, but I'll say it now, because there was just a lot to look at. The backgrounds are also really nice in this game. I really like the backgrounds. Zune put a lot of effort into this. You can tell the quality, like, improved dramatically between, uh, Ten Desires and this game. Why am I trying to POC? There's no items. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really screwing up the pattern there, but oh well. The end. Alright. That was pretty good. Now, I did not practice the first three stages, so, uh, if this doesn't, if this goes sour, you, you guys know why. I wish you could just have a game where you just get lives from grazing. That would make me really happy. <laughs> None of this BS here.
All right, here we go. Whew. All right. <laughs> Get lives from grazing. Man, I ho sure hope one of the later games doesn't have literally that. <laughs> Isn't that, is, isn't that how Luna, I don't, again, I keep, I keep, since I haven't really focused on Legacy Lunacy Kingdom, like, I just watch other people play it, I don't really know what's going on. I think that's the one you're talking about, because I, again, I, I only know that grazing causes point items to slow down, so I don't know. <laughs> but I think you've mentioned it before, that, like, grazing is the gimmick of Legacy Lunacy Kingdom. Which is funny because I always think, can I test if they have a hitbox? I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to test if they have a hitbox. I should be doing that in like practice mode. We've got a pretty good run going on here. I don't want to ruin it, dude. Th this is such a jam. Good lord. Oh, I fucked up. That was so bad. My rhythm was so off, dude. I want I want that. I want that. I want it. I want it. I want it. Okay. Oh, dude, the music is so goddamn good. Frick. I I'm gonna have to bomb. I'm gonna have to bomb this. Like, I'm actually unironically gonna have to bomb this. I'm gonna have to use a bomb on stage two. Are you kidding me? Never mind. Don't shoot me in the face! Uh, I'm too scared. Because I don't know exactly when it starts. Oh god, okay, fine. I can't believe I had to use a bomb on stage two. Yeah, I, 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 this definitely gives me subchain animus of difficulty vibes. Definitely. Like, having to use a bomb on stage two, that's not something I ever had to do until subchain animism. So, yeah. Definitely, I think the pat, in terms of bullet patterns, this, this, this is up there. God, the. Saki, Seki Bonki's music is really good. I like that. Somebody please tell me, like, are we in the bamboo forest of Lost, or is this just like another bamboo forest out there? Just, just, just some random coincidence. Why am I here? I don't see any opportunities to... Oh god. I guess that works. Dude, the music is such a bop! God dang, dude! God! It's so fucking good! I wanted to grab that, but I wasn't sure how to do it. Dude, I'm too busy talking and I wasn't paying attention. I should still be fine, though, to be honest. I don't think that's the end of the world. But I gotta be more careful, man. God, this music is so good.
The base especially is hitting me a certain way. You've come to exterminate me, yes? This is the Bamboo of Forest of the Lost says right there. It's kind of hard to see things when I'm in the middle of playing. You know what I mean? Yeah, we already we already got our our extend back. So yeah, losing that life what isn't the end of the world. But that was a really dumb life lost. Also the game lied. I didn't lose all of my bombs when I uh when I died. The game said that I was going to lose all my bombs if I die, but that's not what happened at all. Maybe I misread it. I think it was a misunderstanding. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was too much for me, bro. I love the shield. I love just being able to do patterns with no, no risk. That's really nice. Of course, I have to expend a bomb to do it, but... Yikes. Alright. Pretty easy. Dude, I took a death and I still have four lives. <laughs> She's a nice silly werewolf. And also a ridiculous stage 3 boss, but shh. <laughs> what do you mean by ridiculous? Ridiculously easy? <laughs> Uh. Humans are scary. <laughs> the only yokai ever to show fear for humans. I've never- none of the other yokai have ever outright said that they were scared of humans after being defeated by one. Except for Kagero. Kagero's the first. Am I wrong? There, I've heard some of them say like, oh, man, you're really powerful for a human or something to that effect. But never like, oh my god, humans are scary. As if Sakia's strength is a good baseline for humans. For the, for the average human, I mean. Yeah, we're just gonna stick to my my plan here of uh, bombing, and then if I survive, I survive, and then if I don't, then I don't. Cause I still get I still get my resources either way, right? Nice. Okay, let's not do anything dumb. This is the part we practiced, so no more dumb business. I have no excuse for failing these sections. If I have to bomb, I have to bomb. Alright, here comes the part where I can get trapped. If I have to bomb, just bomb. Just just, just don't even take any risk. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I had plenty of space, but I don't know. I could have made that for sure, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk it. I've been taking too much risk in practice mode.
Oh, that wasn't close enough, huh? Rip. I'm gonna have to use a bomb for that, though. And I'm probably going to get hit here, yeah. But that's okay, because I'll get a resource here anyway. Pretty good! Look at that! Five lives! Dude! The resources you can get with Sakia A are insane. <laughs> like, for sure. I can see why everybody says she's so busted. I'm not even using her, uh... Her DPS effectively, and I'm still like I even had a I even had a wasted death, too. I could be at six lives right now <laughs> if I didn't take that dumb death. She's really hard for a stage three boss. Really? Wow, the difficulty scaling of normal hard lunatic must be pretty pretty far because she's she's pretty pathetic in uh in normal mode you believe in lore it is implied that humans band together and murder random yokai at will for no reason so they kind of have a two-way history of treating each other horribly really interesting part of byakuren's whole shtick is why can't we all just be nice to each other instead yeah aren't yokai manifestations of like human ideas i don't remember exactly but like don't they have to feed on humans in order to survive isn't that like a necessity or is that completely like they're they just kill humans but just because <laughs> saw your battle earlier your lackluster music just won't work Kinda. More like they need to make reasons for humans to keep believing in them. Oh, okay. Alright, I see, I see. It's like, okay. I get it. So if the humans don't believe in the yokai, then they don't exist. Alright. Let's go. By the book. By the book. No funny business. I need to do better about... I don't have any bombs. I just discovered the hard way that I did. I should have just. I should have just went for it. I need to get better at checking how many bombs I have before a fight begins, because that was inexcusable. How is she not dead yet? I'm- that's a bomb. I can't believe she took so long to die. What- what- what took so long? I mean, I know I did the- I know I did the shotgunning wrong, but I didn't expect it- I must not have been under her for as long as- as usual. Yeah, you know what? I'm realizing that when you're POCing for the items, Dude, I'm realizing that when you're POCing for the items, there's just no way to realistically be prepared for the shotgunning. Because you have to shotgun, you have to POC, right? And then, oh god. I think that bomb was worth it, especially if I survive this onslaught. Good. What am I doing? There is no POCing for this. There's no such thing as POCing. You don't get anything. There's no items that fall from nons. What am I doing? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Because they only exist because humans believe in him, is the concept, yeah. So does Komachi exist because people fear pink-haired girls? <laughs> she exists because people love her <laughs> This isn't Tumblr. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised people still use Tumblr. <laughs> oh, Tumblr is so old. 
Well, then again, I guess... Uh, then again, 4chan is old, and people still use 4chan, so I don't know what I'm saying. If 4chan didn't exist, a lot of Toho memes wouldn't be here. <laughs> or they would, but they just wouldn't have originated from 4chan. Which is hard to imagine. Oh god. That was spooky. Cool. Woo! Oh dude, ah, uh, okay, whatever. I'm gonna have to bomb, but that's fine. Oh, okay. I don't have to bomb. Oh, I might have to bomb for that life though. Okay. I think we have this. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we have this in the bag. Because, in my opinion, Sage is free. If, if, uh, if Sage actually kills my run, I'm gonna be really upset because she was not difficult at all in my practice runs. Easy. Easy. Alright. My assessment of Seija might not be fair because I am used to having my controls fucked with. But... You know. So maybe others are not... Are, they're, they're, they can't adapt to it as well because they don't have as much experience as I do with it. And experience is everything, like, you know what I mean? Ooh. Spooky. I don't think I'm surviving this! Oh, I didn't have any bombs. Okay, that's good. Yeah, five lives. I, I think we have this. We should have this. You're surprised people still use social media? Then uh, you're a boomer, Bamdi, because I'm that, that shouldn't be surprising. <laughs> All right, Seija. I pray for a good fight. I pray for a good fight. One where I don't get got. Which I know that's uh, not really a good fight. That's just me wrecking you. But, uh, you know. At least, at least don't give me any BS. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna dodge on the bottom. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be fancy. Play it safe, you know what I mean? There we go. Respect, Seija. Ugh, I don't like- Okay, alright. I mean, Seija's nons are the are the worst things ever. They're- they're- the, the nons are no joke. Do I want to pick those up? I do. Yeah, sure. There we go. Easy work, easy work. But we have her difficult spell coming up. Or, I think it's not her difficult spell, actually. I think she has one more. I That's too tight. I think I could have fit in there, but I didn't want to chance it. It looked like I was going to fit, but I just don't have a reason to risk it. Oh yeah, there's this one first.
Dude, why is she taking so long? Dude, she cheated! She That should have been over with so much sooner. Gosh, I'm really not making the best use of, uh, of Sakia's uh, damage. It's 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 really finicky. It's really hard to use. It's very difficult. Uh oh. Okay. Now th what's really crazy is wow, that was actually really fast. That was pretty much free. Bamdi, what about Bamdi? <laughs> uh seems you were all talk. Yeah, Sage is a pretty p easy boss. This is not that bad. Sakia A really does make this... Sakia A really does make DDC a joke. Goodness. Once you understand the mechanics and you don't like... Wow. This is... It, it's like free. Of course, you do need to... Ha I, I feel like it's only free once, you ha once you've met the prerequisite strength to handle this. Like, again, I don't think a new player would would have a lot of fun with this. I think a new player would really struggle. I'm just gonna bomb. That seemed to be a good choice because that was a death bomb and I didn't even expect that I, I expected that to come out before I even got hit, so... Yeah, my my uh, timing is uh, really slow. I need to be bombing way earlier than I think I do. I need to look at the replay to see if, uh, if there's an opportunity for me to get a lot out of this. This is, uh, this, the, the part where Sage kills me. Brought to you by Portal 3. Alright. Alright, this is the part where Sage kills me, part 2. Again, I just don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, I don't have any bombs. I have nothing to lose, so, I mean, at least there's that. How did I do that? How? How did I? How? What was- WHAT?! I just beast moded it! Alright, well... Uh, easy. Easy. What can I say? I'm the ultimate Toho master, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna re I'm, I'm going to probably be molding when I get to the tough shot types, man. Oh. Uh. Alright. Who's there? Do you want to beat six lives? Come on. <laughs> I got this. We don't even have a bomb to start with, so I can go balls to the wall here. Do you need something? <laughs> there was something I wanted to ask you. Dude, also, I love how, like, Shinmi is supposed to be, like, an inchling, but then, like, in the actual game, she is, like, bigger than Sakia. I don't know, maybe she hit herself with a mallet. I don't, it's, it's just kind of funny. Uh Wait, what? You brought it all the way here? Even a human didn't throw it away. If you're the ultimate Toho master, then cat 5 too. Mmm which one is that? Which one is that? I don't remember what that is, but <sighs> Alright. Tsuka- I mean Tsuka- I keep calling her Tsukasa. Shin- Shin me! Please don't, uh, don't do something that I've never seen before. I- I just want to chill. This has been a good stream. I'd love to end it here, alright? This was a pretty- this was a pretty decent run. Nothing stupid has happened thus far. The only way I could lose this is if I completely bomb this fight. <laughs> you want to pet 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 Shin? Yeah, Shinmi's cute. Yatsuhashi's Eru card. Ah, oh, frick. 
Which one is that again? I don't know. We'll look at it after. See if I can cap it. Then why have you come all this this way to where the knife led you? The knife led you. Well, that's for some reason I just wanted to cut some yokai. Yeah, <laughs> not a good reason, Sakya. <laughs> Tools move with the will of the user. I can do that with this, the legendary Miracle Mallet! <laughs> Shinmi has the exact hairstyle your old Japanese teacher had? Really? Minus the color. What, the bowl cut? Bowl cut is like super common, is it not? Alright, let's go, let's, let's fight Shinmi. Let's see how this goes. When I was, uh, when I was in elementary school, I- I rocked the bowl cut, dude. Yeah, I kinda figured. I didn't have any bombs, so it's whatever. I mean, like I said, I could just bomb through everything and probably make it. Okay. I mean, I don't see myself screwing this up, but, uh, yeah, let's not jinx ourselves. I almost died there. Luckily, I was in control, so I was able to... Cool. I'm gonna have to use a bomb there. Okay. Oh, gosh. Woo! Oh! I like having a shield for this though. Yeah, that's why I like having a shield for that. I'm probably gonna have to bomb again. Oh, I didn't have any bombs. Okay, that's cool. What's going on? I have to use a bomb. It's really hard to recover from that. Wow. There's a lot boot there's a lot to look at there, holy crap. I just feel so much safer with the shield though. Like I'm gonna be honest, the shield makes me feel so much safer because it's like I don't have to worry about the possibility of losing a bomb. Oh boy. I do have a bomb. I have one. Just look for any reason to use it. That's- that's a reason to use it. Oh, I almost did- I almost waited too long. And now I don't have any bombs left. She still killed me, good lord. I hate this spell. That spell sucks. Oop, I'm gonna capture it. Hey! Look at that. Oh, we got this. I don't know why I picked up that life piece. It's not like I'm gonna get any more. Oh, 
Oh! I was too slow with my bomb, but I mean, we, we got this. This is there's there's no danger here. I think we could probably no bomb the rest of this fight and still win. Oh! Sakuya makes quick work of this. Wow. Good lord. Easy peasy. Let's go, guys. There you have it. <laughs> DDC has been conquered. Thank you and good night. All right. <laughs> uh, still have one more broken shot type before you have before you even have to remotely learn the game. I know, right? I probably didn't even need the practice. I mean, I had so many resources left, but I mean, the patterns are hard. I'm not gonna lie. The patterns are hard. Um, the patterns are hard. I can see that being really difficult if I didn't have Sakia A. Like for real, Sakia A really did most of the work there. Extra for this game is pretty cool. Oh yeah, we can take a look at the uh, we can take a look at the extra stage now. Oh, what is <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Saki is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> this whole game has been goofy, dude. Toho Project, the fourteenth edition, fourteenth Project Shrine Maiden. Dude, the, I, this game is pretty cool. I, I like it. Maybe that'll change once I start using the bad shot types, but man, I really dig this game. This was a really good one. I th Definitely one of my favorites. Zune is 173 centimeters, really? Thanks for playing all the way through. However, keep going just a little extra bit more. <laughs> Elegantly bloodthirsty maid. That, yeah, that's one way of putting it. So that was pretty painless. Definitely, when you're using Sakya A, that's nowhere near as difficult as uh, UFO and Subtraining Animism. But in terms of patterns, I definitely can see it being compared to like Subtraining Animism and UFO. It's up there in terms of patterns. But Sakya A really, really helps. She really helps. She helps a lot. <laughs> Sakya A really carries you through that, for sure. Magnesium level. Wait, have these all been like... Emerald, Aquamarine, Ruby, and Hope Diamond. All precious rocks, and then this is just some boring rock? Alright. I can only play Sakya, and I can only use the Bewitched weapon. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh, dude, I like- I'm digging the music for this. If this is not a good, um, extra stage... Like, I was thinking about what my next extra stage will be. And I think the next extra stage I want to do is... Oh, God forbid. I think the next extra stage I want to do is UFO. I think I want to fight Nue. Because I think Nue is going to be easier than Koishi. Like, yeah, I hate the stage, but Koishi are, is, like, both the stage and Koishi are hard in uh, Subterranean Animism. So I think, I, I think I'd much prefer to deal with Nue, because at least Nue, I've heard she's an easy boss. And I kind of felt it when I was playing as well. Oh, boy. I'm hearing some recurring motifs in this uh, theme as well. It's really nice to hear. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh god! It's my worst fear. Oh, okay. I can give up doing doing this stage now. I don't want to do a double battle. Oh god! It'd be one thing if I could like. Do damn- wait, they both have different health bars. Huh, weird. 
They have separate health bars. Oh my god. It's like pick and choose which which pattern you want to get rid of first. I guess I should kill one of them. I just lost two bombs. I guess I should focus on killing one of them and then deal with the other one after. That's probably the best way to deal with this. Dude, I don't know how I'm alive. What? It did let me do it. Okay, whatever. We'll just go here. I don't like that. Uh-uh, no. No, I think I'd rather be on this side. Whew. Yeah, I'd much rather be on this side. Thank you. Thank you. This side is easier. Oh, now that side is the harder one. Hello? What is happening? Excuse me? It's like they're flip-flopping. They're flip-flopping. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they switch between which one is the difficult side and which one's the easy side. Very clever. I don't- at this rate I'm probably not gonna- well, I could get an extra life right here. Give it to me. It, well worth it. It was worth the bomb. It was worth the bomb. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I don't have any bombs left. Frick. Maybe I might make it. I might make it. That part was really scary, but actually the lasers were very easy to read. Okay, I didn't have any bombs, so that's fine. As long as I don't stupidly lose a bomb or something, I should I should make it. Even if I have to bomb spam. I don't know how you're supposed to do this part. I guess one of these days I'll learn. Bro, how am I here with the life? Dude, Sakia A is so busted! Sakia A is like... This is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Sakia A is so fucking busted. I, sh I did not deserve to make it to the end here. I got so many life pieces. Holy crap. UFO extra is easier than and normal 1cc. What? Not nearly as difficult as the game? You sure about that? You sure about that? I would understand if you said Nue is easier because I felt like Nue was pretty easy like the, from the little bit I saw. But saying the extra stage it, in its entirety is easier? I don't know. The, the entire stage is really brutal, but we'll see. I haven't beaten it yet, so I'll have to reserve- I'll have to hold my tongue on- on- on that. I don't like this whole double boss fight thing. Like, conceptually, it's always been interesting, but I just feel like it's never been done properly. Not just in Toho games, because I don't have a lot- of, I think this is the first time we've seen it. But- or no, the first time was in 10 Desires. But, like, not just in Toe games, but in other games as well. Like, I'm not a big fan of them. In Mega Man Zero 3, you have a double boss fight. There's the You have to fight two fairies. And they're also in Mega Man Zero 2, you have a double boss fight. And I, I don't like that one either. It's just too much happening because you have two enemies doing two different things. I, I don't know. I, 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 just, I just feel like there's no good way to make it fun. Although in Mega Man Zero 3, they had the combo system. So being able to combo on both of the fairies is cool, but I don't know. It's I've never been a fan of double fights. They've they've always been... on. Oh, well, okay, but in R JRPGs, though, that's different. But I don't know. For a lot of action games, it's... I don't know. I, I don't know if I've, ever, if I've ever liked a double fight. Let's read this dialogue. Made up my mind not to use this bewitched sword anymore. I don't think I have much choice if I'm fighting a yokai with a mallet's power. Yeah, who- wait, who is the extra stage boss? I wonder who it's gonna be. The human maids finally- Oh! 
It's you! Heard about what happened with the Miracle Mallet myself. Oh, did you? Then you know what I've come to do. To clean up after its magic power, right? Yo, what's up, Raiko? Who here likes Raiko? You're too late. Too late. I don't even need the power of the Miracle Mallet anymore. I swapped it for a magic that isn't cursed like that mallet. You say you swapped it? Can it suku... Can it su Nobody's answered me this. Where's the stress for that? Tsukumogami? Tsukumogami? Tsukomugami. Tsukomogami. Whatever. I'm a Tsukomogami, it's so it's simple. Because when the user of a tool changes, so does its magic. So, should I test my new power on you? Now, drummer from the outside world, <laughs> call upon primal emotions with the beat of your soul. Not a lot of talking, huh? They just they just jump right- you, you, Usually the extra stage has like a shit ton of dialogue, but not so here. <laughs> Japanese has no stress. You say it flat and equal? equal? Okay, Tsukomogami. Alright. Tsukomogami. 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 Or Tsukomogami. Tsukomogami. Alright. Zero stress, got it. Oh shit, that was tight. I don't like these nons! What is this? Oh god, there's a gimmick to this. Oh my god, and they blow up too. Yikes. Should I be blowing them up? Yo! That's not cool. Hmm, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be shooting this entire thing. What? We're, didn't I have three bombs? What the hell? Oh well. We got to the extra stage boss. That was pretty cool. Also, you lie. Japanese has stress. What are you talking about? Fami just told... Fami told me not too long ago that, like... You don't say Yosuke, you say Yosuke. You put the stress on the first syllable. Japanese can have stress. Hashi bridge versus Hashi chopstick. Hashi, Hashi, oh. Hashi bridge, Hashi chopstick. Okay. Well, there's my first attempt. It's more like rising versus falling tones. I see. So like Chinese. <laughs> Versus the English style saying one syllable with a lot of emphasis. It that that's that's not even that that's even downplaying it. In English we have two different types of stress. In English we have uh, lexical stress and prosodic stress. So it's like it's like doubly confusing, right? For example, the noun um, compound versus the verb compound. The, that's the lexical stress, and then you have the prosodic stress, where you stress words to emphasize their meaning. So, like, if I say, I see it coming, or no, if I say, I see it coming, versus I see it coming, those two sentences mean two completely different things, because I put a different prosodic stress on a different word, and yet, you know, but words... English words on their own have their own lexical stress on top of us having the prosodic stress. So like there's two layers to it. So it's like I can imagine people really struggle to learn English because of that. Like hats off to multilinguists because I don't know how you can put up with English. It's it's so stupid. <laughs> Linguistic nerd activated. I like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's so dumb. Like, I don't know.